Hello guys. Today we'll understand the new lesson sorting materials into groups. First of all we should understand what is the need and how do we sort the objects and how this can be done. If we find around us our world is full of huge variety of objects number of objects are there visible these are in different shapes sizes colors and uh, for different different functions these may be chairs desks wooden objects plastic objects bucket Slippers, leather items, number of items are there. So, suppose we have to sort out. What will we do? A reasonable method of sorting objects would be to list them on the basis of materials. Now, the question is this. What is material? If we look around us, objects which are different different all these objects are made of different different matters these matters are called materials means the objects made of these materials some objects are of wood maybe of plastics metals of papers etc now what are the properties of metals there are some basic properties of materials such as appearance hardness soluble or insoluble transparency these are some criteria by which we identify the material now we will start from appearance if we find any object then it may look or appear shiny or dull such as a piece of uh, brick a piece of wood which is not shiny when we find any glass steel stainless steel glass any utensil bangles iron nails hammer these are shiny in nail. so it means we can identify the materials through its appearance number of items have same kind of qualities so we can see the objects which are made of copper brass aluminium iron these are having a shine a luster in hindi we can say chamak jo thoda sa chamakti these are having a very specific shining when we cut any metal object we get the edge of that and always that edge shines it is what it is a kind of characteristic of metals it means we can say those substances those materials those objects which are having a luster a shine are called metals now another characteristic of objects suppose you have taken one knife now try to scratch the different different objects by using this knife most of the time very easily you can scratch the objects it means if we can scratch any object easily that is soft in nature and if it is difficult to scratch then it is hard in nature such as wood 
plastics and uh, stainless steel glass any glass object all these are hard in nature cloth foam chalk these are soft in nature now the third characteristic to identify the material of the object some objects are soluble and some are insoluble how we will identify if we put a small quantity of sugar or salt in a small amount of water which is kept in a beaker or in any utensil in a pot and we stir it for a short span of time and it disappears it means it is soluble in nature and if it does not disappear it is insoluble in nature so we can say some things or some objects are soluble and some are insoluble it is true in case of liquids also when we put some drops of uh, lemon juice or uh, uh, some drops of vinegar some drops of milk into a small quantity of water it mixes very properly it means these are soluble but when we put some drops of uh, mustard oil or any kind of oil kerosene diesel and when we stir it and leave it for a short period of time what do we get we get that the oil that is floating on the surface of the water it means oils are not soluble in water similarly some gases are soluble in water and some are not for example oxygen is soluble in water and we know this water is the very important thing for the survival of the living beings and if oxygen is uh, soluble in that then the aquatic animals means uh, the animals which live in water may get oxygen from itself when we are discussing the properties of the different different objects another very important property what is that we will find here some objects float on the surface of the water and some sinks into the water heavier objects sink into the water and lighter objects float on the surface of water one more thing which is called transparency must to be talked here in our daily life we find that some objects can pass the light through them and some objects cannot suppose a pane of uh, glass pane of window can pass the light it means it is transparent it allows to light to pass through it have you visited to a grocer's shop what have you seen there that shopkeeper is keeping the different different items into the jars of glass why is it so only one thing is there buyers can easily see these items so those are transparent jars on the other hand when we do not capable to see the things across the some objects those things are called opaque such as a wooden piece a cardboard a wall a blanket 
a bed sheet all these things are opaque and one more thing is there if we put some drops of oil on a sheet of paper and we rub it gently over it and we see the things through this paper then things are not visible to us very clearly but we can identify those things means we can guess that uh, some such kind of thing is over there when things are not very much clear such kind of mediums are called translucent now today we have understood that uh, how do we identify the objects which are made of different different materials and uh, in this way we can categorize these objects very easily and uh, it is very helpful to locate the objects and just for the convenience of uh, ourselves we do this and uh, one more thing the objects of same kind of materials are having almost same properties so today we have understood this in the very next video we will discuss about some other things by the meantime take care of yourself goodbye see you earliest thank you and take care